One small thing can make a major difference. We know that, the power of mm -hmm. one, the power of a thing. That's a lesson one Monroe County couple learned from their tiny but mighty feline friend during her lifetime. And you may even recognize her. This is Lil Bub, once a viral internet sensation and a celebrity cat. Well, she stole the attention of many people during the 2010s, and she still really holds a special place in their hearts today. So our Nico Panisi is live in her hometown, Bloomington, with a little more on her impact and how her owners are continuing her legacy. Nico, this is so cool. It is so cool. I mean, we're starting the work week off talking about a one of a kind critter. I'm here in Bloomington where Stacy and Mike Bradovsky welcome Lil Bub into their hearts and into their home. Now, what made Bub so special? Well, besides her big, bulging, wandering green eyes and her hanging tongue, she had a variety of genetic conditions. She had polydactyly and dwarfism and a rare bone disease called osteopetrosis. She was a permakitten, meaning she stayed kitten size and maintained her kitten-like features her entire life. Now, Mike adopted her in 2011 after she was discovered as the runt of a feral litter in rural Unionville. He says she reminded him of Gizmo from the Gremlins or the Bear from the Snuggles commercials. She was just too cute to be real. She was so unique. She was so different. Um, and that's what made her who she was. And so a lot of her closest fans are either people with disabilities or people that feel like they don't fit in. And she was truly like a source of real inspiration to people. Mike started a blog for Bub in the beginning of 2012. It took only six months for her to gain national recognition after a photo went viral on the internet. A book, a calendar de deal, TV shows, and much more later, Bradovsky says the message behind Bub is to celebrate our differences. Bub passed away on December 1st of 2019 at eight years old. In her honor, the Bradovskys created the nonprofit Lil Bub's big fund for special needs pets, which has raised over $1 million for animals in need. Stacy says they're the first special needs focused animal welfare fund in the country. Bub really transformed the landscape for special needs pets and allowed people to see that even though these animals are the most difficult to care for, they're usually at the highest risk of euthanasia. Um, <clears throat> they might be the most expensive. They take a lot of time to care for it, that their lives do have value. The nonprofit does intersectional work with social service agencies and animal welfare agencies. They work with people and animals who they consider some of the most vulnerable. Unhoused populations, survivors of domestic violence, those struggling with mental health or substance use disorders. Stacy says special needs pets can play a role in giving these people a sense of home and a sense of safety. And a memorial for Bub's life was postponed due to COVID-19 restrictions and delays, but now Four years later, here at the Buzzkirk Chumley Theater, there'll be a celebration of Bub's life called Remembering Lil Bub. That'll be February 3rd and 4th. And we have all those details on our website, WRTV.com. Reporting live in Bloomington, Nico Panisi, WRTV. That is so cool. The Lil Bub remains a big deal and will have an yes. impact on many lives. We hope the people in there in Bloomington, Monroe County, and from all parts of our state, if you want to visit for that benefit, please do so.